Well, folks, I'm headed out of town. As you can see, it's a foggy morning here. It's just below freezing, around 30 degrees. On my way to shoot my Saturday Stockman Stampede video. You know, with life getting so busy, I never seem to make it outdoors much anymore. So I just thought, I'm going to take my time this morning, find a good spot. Maybe we can find some nature along the way, and then we're going to talk about my Stockman. So just hang around, folks. It's another exciting Saturday Stockman Stampede. Well, we're on our way up to the lookout. It has a really nice view. And I used to shoot a lot of videos out here. It's a local county park. It's a dried up lake bed. And uh, I just decided I'm coming out here today. I was hoping the road would be open and it is. So here we go. Well, here we are on the observation deck. For those of you that have followed the channel for a while, you'll recognize this area. I used to come out here and shoot a lot of videos. And I don't know why I stopped. I guess I'm always in a rush to shoot a video, I guess. It is just so nice and peaceful and serene out here this foggy morning. Of course, that's the old dried up lake bed out there. But we're here to talk about a stockman. And it is Saturday Stockman Stampede. It's a great open tag started by our friend Terry at Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. So Terry, thank you so much for starting this great open tag. And I enjoy watching everybody's uh, Saturday Stockman Stampede videos. So the stockman is just a great pattern. So this is what we're going to be looking at today. Um, I realize the lighting is not very good. You can probably barely see it. But I've got a Schrade Stockman here. It was a gift from Zen Ali. So thank you Zen once again for sending me this wonderful knife. And uh, we'll break down here. We'll come up here to the to the handrail here and we'll get a close-up view of this wonderful knife. So here's a, a close-up of this wonderful knife. And uh, it's a three-bladed Stockman. And you can see it's got that really long uh, Persian clip blade to it. We'll take a look at the tang stamp here real quick. Trade USA and it's model 899. And I looked at the uh, tang stamp chart and it looks like this knife was made somewhere between the 70s and the early 2000s. It's got jigged Delrin covers. You got the brass pins there. And a beautiful uh, and it just has this beautiful shield right here that bombshell or flattened squirrel flying squirrel whatever you want to call it with the shade on there we take a look at the back springs here of course brass liners very nice fit and finish on this you can tell this knife has been carried and used, but it's in very good condition. Very good condition. Oh, that wind's, uh, there's just enough of a breeze out here to put a chill in the air and it's, it's damp. Woo. Anyway, there's our sheep's foot. And what I love about this knife one of those great stockmans that comes with a punch and I know Patty from Patty's Potato Peelers likes his stockman that has a punch on it so just a wonderful knife now I thought it's always kind of have nice to have something to compare it with so there's the buck 303 cadet so just kind of gives you a perspective on the size and this 303, I can't remember what year this one is from. I recently got this at an antique store. I can't remember what that symbol is. But again, look at the difference between the style of the, the clip blades. Big difference, isn't there? Yeah. So there you have it. The trade 
Stockman for Saturday, Stockman Stampede. Now hang around, I'm gonna go out and see if I can't find some photos or some, some footage of uh, some wildlife to add on to the end here. Until next time, have a very delightful day. Well, I haven't come across much for wildlife today. Of course, it's kind of the wrong time of day for one, and two, it's a, as you can see, a very foggy, dreary day. Most things are probably just bedded down right now, but just listen to the sound of the water going over the dam here. Ain't that pretty? I just love, this is one of my favorite spots, come up here as a, as a kid, spent a lot of time up here in this old marsh, goofing around, canoeing, just had a grand old time, you can see there full of cattails or rushes which is why it's named Rush Lake yeah let me get down here and see if I can't cut off one of these uh, cattails for you it's right on the edge of the water that ice looks pretty soft so I certainly don't want to fall through the ice or break through There we go. Now I remember as a kid we used to take these and take the, the fluff out of them. And it seems to me there was a recipe to make pancakes out of this stuff. Let me get around here a little better. Yep. Good old cattails. Well, let me move along and see if we can't find something. folks kind of struck out on finding any wildlife here this morning but I tell you what I've sure had a lot of fun here in the last couple hours just driving the gravel roads checking out the scenery it's so beautiful with this fog although I tell you what it's it's so damp and dank Whew. a little bit of breeze uh, sends the chills through you hope you've enjoyed seeing my knife here Again, thanks to Zan Ali. It's just good to get away sometimes. Here a little bit ago, I got off the phone with my good friend, Brother Terry from Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. We had us a good discussion about our channels, how things are going. And, uh, well, I, I certainly hope you enjoy this. I, I had to do something like this. It gets gets kind of boring just shooting the videos in the basement all the time with the rush of life it seems like I don't get out the way I should get out into get out into nature and see God's creation never ceases to uh, amaze me how beautiful everything is if you take the time to kind of stop and smell the roses as it were well I have taken a bunch of pictures here of the wintry landscape I'll put them on here at the end and if you feel up to it you can watch them let me know if you like these kind of videos this this has just been a great morning for me even though I'm getting my video uploaded later in the day that's okay I just had fun today thanks everybody for for joining and uh, what a wonderful community we have God bless each and every one of you